Hundred year old. Jesus still moves. Oh, I see. You just have like a, a pinion gear. Yeah. Right. You roll the log onto these standards. Yeah. It goes into there. You take your dogs. They're seized. They spin. Dog the log in. Okay. Right. You bring it up to your saw. Huh. Right. You set the saw as you want to, want to cut. Bring it over to that. Okay. I'll be. So an automatic piece to this. Yeah. Internal board that goes in here. You can scan it <laughs> and bring it in automatically. And then you take your lever for your hydraulics. That controls the carriage. That slides the log on this past the saw. Makes your cut. Falls off in front of you right there on your deal run. Yeah. Okay. And the old man would slide the slabs off the end. Right? Yeah, that's it. And then you would have what you call your cheater board. I can't find it right now. It would run from here to here, right? Yeah. And then when your deal, your lumber would come off, this piece of lumber, you'd balance it on your cheater board. Yeah. Let, and it would, uh, you'd lever it over onto this. Your lumber would go off there. Your slabs go off the end. Isn't so that the forks for the tractor, right? Yeah. You drive up there at the tractor and the forks. You'd pick your lift the lumber off, and off you'd go. No way. Isn't that something? Yeah. And what was that motor out of again? Do you remember? That was out of what they called a moose. It was a an old crane, a right. yard crane they used to use in the dockyard. Right. That, that's an old, that's a two, I don't know if it's a 283 or 293, I can't remember. Chev industrial engine. Isn't that something? Yeah. Uh, I don't know exactly what's wrong with it. It was a, a rod or a bearing seized in it. I, I never took it apart, but... Yeah, I think taking it back to the dealership is out of the question. <laughs> well, we manufactured all this, right? That's all. That's a one-ton Ford transmission, and uh, we had. I had a uh, machinist friend of mine make this shaft. Right. Right. This this arbor and the saw I bought from a guy in Sackville, an old sawyer down there, and uh, that that's original Oxford equipment. Huh. It's got the original Babbitt bearings. Jeez. There, I've got a pillar block in the front, but that's an original yeah. Babbitt bearing that we poured. And uh, the carriage itself, the wood of course is not 100 years old, but the carriage irons itself are original Oxford material from an Ott mill. Boy, that's something that you really should bring back to life. Oh, it works. If we had an engine, we could make it work right now. Yeah. Just the engine's not. Well, no shortage of motors kicking around. You can no. always find something to stick in that. The problem is, is now, right, with the price, the price of... Uh, wood is, is so far down on account of the Russians and the Chinese yeah we can't compete no and the price of fuel is so high uh, the thing is when you run this you have to you can put out 10,000 board feet a day with this really with three guys yeah but you've got to you've got to have the market for it you know what I mean well you might be more interested so, in kind of like uh, niche markets and well stuff that's like that. what Not we were uh, doing at the end we were we were actually sawing bridges out and things decks. right there is money to be made in that Isn't that something but what you would have to have is a nice little diesel engine, say a 453 or a 353. Yep. Something that's really good on fuel and, and high horsepower that you could zip along. But you've got to have at least two guys to run this, right? Yeah. That's why you need to move to Beaver Bank and you can be my sawyer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to move to Walton's Mountain. Yes. <laughs>